If you want to hear your Sibelius 7 score playback, using the sounds that were included with Sibelius 7, but you're having trouble hearing your score playback through your speakers, and you can get audio from other software like Windows Media Player or iTunes, you'll want to check your playback configurations to make sure that the playback configuration is selected, and that the sound card that you've attached your speakers or headphones to is selected as your playback device. To check these settings, Select the Play tab above the ribbon. Towards the left, you'll see the Setup section. Click the small arrow in this section to open the Playback Devices dialog box. First, we'll need to check that we have a sound library selected. In the Configuration section at the top, select Sibelius 7 Sounds. This is the sound set that is included with your copy of Sibelius 7. If you've created a custom set of sounds, or if you've purchased and installed a separate sound library for Sibelius, then you can choose that library here as well, although it's a good idea to start your troubleshooting with the default sound set to eliminate any extra variables. Once you've selected your sound configuration, choose one of the active playback devices from the box on the right-hand side. In this case, choose Sibelius Player. Once we've selected a device, the Test button will become available. You can use this button to verify that your sound setup is configured correctly and that you can hear audio from your speakers. If you click on Test and you hear sound, you should now be able to go back to your score and hear playback. If clicking the Test button doesn't produce sound, then the next step is checking your audio options to make sure that your sound card is properly selected. Click on Audio Engine Options at the bottom left. Click on the drop-down by interface to see what available sound cards your computer has. In this example, we have a number of choices to choose from, even though there is actually only one physical sound card attached to this computer. This is fairly common. If you're unsure of which option to choose, on Windows computers, the primary sound driver is the best interface to check first. If you're on a Mac, built-in core audio will provide audio to your Mac's built-in speakers. If all these options are grayed out, make sure the Use Virtual Instruments and Effects option is ticked. Also, click the Repair and Cleanup buttons if they're available. After choosing an interface, close the dialog box and try the Test button again to verify that you have sound. If you hear a scale, you should now be able to close these windows and play back your score. If you don't hear a scale, Try the other options available under Interface until you find one that works. For more troubleshooting articles and information, visit sibelius.com forward slash support.